Hey everybody, it's Brett with Incredible Getaways again. Today, we're going to be talking about your health. That's right, one of the big things that's going on vacation is that we want to go healthy, stay healthy, and come back home. That's right, healthy. So with that, let's get started. What is going on everybody? It is that time again. So today we are talking about health, taking care of ourselves. You know, we are all living in this pandemic world now and uh, one of the things that you don't hear a lot about people talking about is how to take care of yourself and to remain and stay healthy. We have a few guidelines that are given from time to time, you know, on the news that people talk about for the pandemic social distancing, you know, staying six feet away, wearing masks and gloves and stuff like that. But what about just generally staying healthy whenever you go on vacation? A lot of people's going to be going on vacation very soon. You know, it's the country starts to open back up and there's some things that you may want to be doing to help prepare yourself for getting back out. One of the things that is proven with, with science is that even though we have done really well with social distancing and you know preventing the spread and the contraction of COVID, the unfortunate part is because we have so social distanced from one another that now our immune systems have came down a little bit. They're not used to not having to fight off the things that we kind of face day to day. So with that, we're going to talk about some things that you can do to help your immune system, and it's not just about COVID specifically, but rather all the different things that we would normally face when going on vacations when not living in a pandemic world. You know, things like norovirus, you know, different things that are more common than what we're experiencing now, um, even with the flu. So with that, we're going to get started today. Uh, number one thing that I have on my list is to eat a diet high in fruits and vegetables, making sure that you're getting plenty of fruits and vegetables. And I know, I get it, a lot of people, I'm not going to list any names, but a lot of people I know, uh, they think that french fries are considered a vegetable. Oh, I'm talking about actual vegetables that have not been deep fried. All right, I get it. I like a deep fried vegetable as, me, as much as the next person. But with that being said, it's not the same thing here. We're defeating the purpose, right? So, you know, just making sure that you're having a good balanced diet, one that you're getting plenty of fruits and vegetables. Why fruits and vegetables specifically? It's because you're going to gain a lot of vitamins uh, and minerals through that process. So it's one of the great things that comes with having a good diet, making sure that you're you're eating the right things, that you're not taking in, you know, a lot of saturated fats, you're not taking in a lot of sugars, a lot of starches and things like that. And it's going to help your body be more fit. And with that, your immune system as well. Your immune system needs these different vitamins and minerals that you get from fruits and vegetables. You know, different minerals like iron, vitamin B, you know, uh, vitamin C, a lot of great things that are there that your body needs. So make sure that you're eating well, eating at least somewhat healthy, right? So that's going to help you out a lot. Second thing that I have on this is exercise regularly. This is one that I struggle with. I work a lot of hours, have a family, you know, involved in community activities. And so with that, doesn't leave a lot of free time for exercise. One of the things I guess that, like a lot of people, I've put other people, not necessarily in a bad way, but other people ahead of me. So I'm making sure that I'm taking care of my wife, my kids, you know, um, that I'm involved in my community and taking care of my community. And so all those things adds up 
and it's not necessarily a bad thing, you know, doing those things, but make sure that you take some time for yourself. Make sure that you exercise regularly. One of the things that I do, it's helped me out a lot, is making sure that I take short walks throughout the day. It doesn't have to be long. It's just a little five minute walk here or there. And it really makes me feel good. You know, uh, currently now I don't work a very physical job any longer. And so uh, I'm not active a lot. Most of my day involves sitting. And that's the case for a lot of people, especially a lot of Americans today. We spend a lot of time sitting at our desk, in our cubicles, in our offices, and it has a lot of negative repercussions through that. So I want to encourage you, take some time, stretch your legs, getting good blood flow uh, is imperative. You know, not only does it help your immune system, it helps prevent heart attack, stroke, different things like that as well. So make sure that you're taking care of yourself. Remember, if you're not taking care of yourself, you can't take care of others. And that's a lot easier to say than to live. Right? Number three on the list, maintain a healthy weight. So a lot of that comes with the two things that we've talked about, exercising regularly. And when I say regularly, what we really mean is consistently and having a good balanced diet. Not going on yo-yo diets where you're up and down, up and down. It's an area, once again, that I haven't always done the best at, but I've learned over the years how to better manage my weight through diet and, and proper exercise and a proper diet. Consider getting yourself a nutritionist or just spend time, invest in yourself in learning about what a good balanced diet really looks like. <clears throat> you know, also, you know, with the exercising regularly, you don't have to be one of these people that, you know what, I'm going to lose 10 pounds this month and I'm going to get it off or 20 pounds or 30 pounds, whatever it is. And you're starving yourself, doing a crash diet, exercising, you know, seven days a week. And then after the weight loss is complete, you stop both. It's not healthy. <clears throat> it's causing a yo-yo effect on your weight. Your body doesn't know what to do with itself. Neither does your immune system. It actually weakens our immune system doing things like that because it doesn't have consistency. One of the things that you'll find with your immune system is that it likes consistency. It likes consistent food, likes consistent exercise. Those things are really going to help be able to fight off just general things. So the third step, the, or the, uh, excuse me, the uh what number are we on? Four or five? I don't know. I've lost count. <laughs> Next thing that we have here is make sure that you get adequate sleep. Once again, <laughs> I'm, I'm doing a lot of preaching to the choir today. Uh, I know that you guys probably see it sometimes. A lot of the videos I shoot, uh, I am tired. It's obvious. No, I have not had a stroke. I just haven't slept enough. <laughs> I've been watching this eye droop and it's drove me crazy. I don't know how many times that I've had to uh, restart filming on this for the simple fact that I did not like that my eye was drooping and going closed and everything. <laughs> um, but, you know, make sure that you have plenty of sleep. Getting good, consistent sleep is a big thing. Maybe you're like me, you got toddler and they may or may not sleep very well. My youngest has never slept very well. My oldest one, he's, n he's slept well mostly, but uh, even with him, like he's, does, he sleepwalks. So um, a lot of times, you know, getting woke up by him walking through the house, rummaging around, <laughs> just completely lost. Uh, it, it happens. But, you know, doing your best to make sure that you're getting good, consistent sleep. Even the people that I know that run on very little sleep, and there's people that are out there, I'm sure that if you're uh, on YouTube, you look at people that don't sleep very much, motivational people, a lot of CEOs and different people like that. You know, people are all about that hustle and that grind. You know, and they're like, I only sleep five hours a night. I bet you that five hours they're getting though is very consistent and very high quality, right? 
our bodies need it. It helps keep us healthy. And so as our next item on the list here of ways to help strengthen your immune system. You say, Brett, what are you doing talking about this? You're a travel agent for crying out loud. What do you know about immune health? Well, thankfully for me, uh, there are people that are much smarter than I am that are experts in this field. And that's where I went and got this information from. You can find some of this information at various sites. You know, um, you can look up uh, Harvard Health, um, looking up uh, the medical uh, journal from Harvard University, being able to get this information. There's several different reliable sources that are out there, different, uh, different publications, you know, through health and, and medicine uh, fields and, you know, schools and universities. So these are some just very basic things. One of the last ones, and we're going to finish up with this, <clears throat> is making sure that you wash your hands, you know, regularly. It's not one of these things where you have to be overly fanatical about it. Just talking about, you know, making sure that you wash your hands whenever you've been out in public. One of the things that I do is I carry with me a little bottle of <clears throat> hand disinfectant. I'll use that whenever I go to pump gas. You know, gas handles are nasty. You know, and while you're traveling, you're going to be stopping and getting gas. You know, we all have to have it. I've tried with my vehicles for years now to wean them off of gas where I wouldn't have to use it anymore but unfortunately we all have to go to the gas station and feel the pain at the pump so make it a little less painful get you some hand sanitizer a little squirt of that hit it up you're good to go you know make sure that you wash your hands before you eat you know after you use the restroom just kind of basic things that we all learned whenever we were younger maybe got away from it um, and you're just not as hygienical as you once were, make sure that you take care of that. You know, wash your hands regularly. Once again, all this is about consistency. So whenever we talk about, you know, eating, you know, a lot of fruits and vegetables, what we're really saying is this. We're saying to eat consistently, eat those things. Don't pile up a whole bunch in one meal and think that you're good for the rest of the week or, you know, eat them for a week and then, off for a week and then back on for a week and off for a week now we're talking about being consistent with this consistency with sleep consistently with eating consistency with working out and exercising consistency with using hygiene you know washing our hands using hand sanitizer whenever we get through handling something if you go to a store and you use a debit or credit card make sure you hit your hands with that hand sanitizer because five million people have touched that keypad and they have not cleaned it. Nope. Not since that store was built. Since that keypad was put in, have they cleaned it? Not once. I promise you that. So make sure that you're using good hygiene pro processes and because uh, you want to be able to take care of yourself. You want to be healthy and stay healthy. Nobody wants to go on vacation sick. Nobody wants to get sick while they're on vacation, and nobody wants to come back home sick. So with all that in mind, be consistent with these things to help boost your immune system so you can have a greater vacation. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you like, hit that subscribe button, and uh, you know if there's anything that we can do to help you book your next vacation, check us out. We're gonna put a link in the description so you can check out our website, send us a message, let us know if we can help you in any way. Utilize our search engines. Keep in mind though, those search engines only have so much information. There's a lot more that we have to offer that we just can't fit in our search engine. So with that being said, hope that everybody has a great rest of your day, night, whatever time it is that you're watching this. And uh, until next time, bye.